Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Computer Vendors Day, we're going to talk about compact PC, not laptops, compact PC. So let's dive right into it. Now you have to understand, at this point in time, the moment I say gaming PC, you think of something like this, something big, something huge, something bulky. Now that's okay for most scenarios, but not for everybody, simply because many people are mobile. I will explain what does that mean. And you have to understand it. If uh, you go for money to money, it's like $1,000 computer, $1,000 laptop, 100% of the time, uh, desktop would be more powerful. Flat out, there is no discussion about that. On top of that, if you are investing like a lot of money, you want something that is upgradable because again, at this point in time, we have reached almost stagnation in PC uh, power upgrades. Unless you are upgrading like let's say five, six years, uh, you know, uh, you're not gonna notice any performance so you could literally have people who are like hey i just need to upgrade one component of the system uh let's say for example your laptop may be super awesome it may have more than good enough processor but the graphics card is let's say 10 series graphics card you're like no uh now i want a rtx system your processor is more than good enough to uh, you know satisfy a 30 series graphics card but you can't upgrade it so for many people upgrading uh, you know rem rolls out basically laptops now, what are the use cases where you would need a portable desktop? Well, on-site video processing is a very big uh, requirement of this, simply because think of this, like this is from Arrow, uh, you, you are shooting system. Now, those uh, video cameras generally have output on SDI. Now, that SDI is generally sent to equipment that is capturing it. And generally, you have to do what we call a block correction. So basically, camera would be recording whatever log it may be recording, and then you have to apply a LUT to it, so to say. Without it, it will look very washed out, weird. So you need a monitor that is like, okay, this is with without log this is with log so uh, director of photography or whatever have you people who are taking care of that situation will be like hmm you know adjust the camera this way and uh, there is a, this place is called like video village so in those sort of places you need a lot of processing power because your camera could be as high as 4k cinema uh, grade so in those sort of scenario your bit rate would be so high that normal modern process that in a laptop could handle it but it will overheat very quickly and if you are talking about a shoot that would go on for days a uh, laptop will be simply cooked on top of that if you need uh, let's say capture cards yeah you can't do that on usb capture card you need pci express capture card so for that reason many of the video villages utilize uh, what we call a dedicated workhorse system where it's like no the monitors are specifically uh, you know cinema grade where as in like calibrated properly and all that jazz and then you have a processor that is powerful enough that has enough pci lane so you can have a lot of input and output then you have enough uh, you know high bandwidth so you can extract data copy it on multiple hard drives for redundancy and all that jazz so that can only be done on a pc you can try that with a laptop but good luck then we have to uh, come to aspect of military base station you will always say like uh, you know military have this container what do they have inside the container generally they will have system like this uh, now these systems are generally desktops of course they do require uh, you know giant battery banks to run it or generally a generator on site to run that and they will allow you to you know pilot your uh, basically uavs things of that nature and there is a variant of that which uh, military is generally use for uh, emergency you know air traffic control and if like let's say military sent somewhere for uh, uh, disaster relief they will utilize something like this to coordinate search and rescue so people on the go now people on the go is also another aspect because uh, network admins may have a scenario where a system went down due to let's say a ransomware attack or things of that nature they in many of the scenario you have to physically go there now the moment you want to deal with uh, networking you are talking about networking speeds now modern networking speed can easily go to 20 gbps to 30 gbps to even 100 gbps good luck finding a laptop that can deal with that speed you need a desktop so in those sort of scenarios, you will have a very unique setup where it's like this is built for you and many systems uh, like you know companies that build this grade of system they will also have a system where you have like you know 20 uh, external hard drive because sometimes it's like you know just to save your data you will disconnect the internet and just copy the data offline so because if uh, you know router is compromised or things of that nature has happened you want to your data to be backed up off-site as quickly as possible so in those sort of scenario you need this sort of thing so there are some use cases this is not every man but this is a use case so we come to pro level of this well pro level are generally what we classify as specialist equipment this is not for common public uh, common public and not for like you know you and me so to say now what does that mean that simply means these uh, brands that actually have been working let's say for past 20 years or even 30 years most people would never heard of it for example acme computer and stealth computers uh, they make amazing equipments but no most people don't know about it because it's not dell or hp so consequence of that because of the niche and the fact that it's uh, not mass produced it is idiotically expensive as in like twenty thousand dollars is like basic bitch price for this sort of thing so 
you can buy something like this it has triple monitor which are all cinema grade and you have the benefit that you can fold it all up into one box and this box is like ruggedized so if you are carrying the system let's say on a van on a vanity van and things of that nature it will still work when you pull it out and it will be designed in such a way that it can withstand very high temperature fire. so if you are shooting in antarctica it will still work if you are shooting in uh, sahara desert it will still work that's the whole point of it then you will have network variant specifically built for network admins kind of scenario they will have multiple hard drive or modern systems will have multiple mvme cassette slots and then you will have a network system where it's like you know uh, even SFPS port would be available so you can directly plug that into it so these are niche tools these are not for common public but these are like uh, what we call workstation on wheels flat out like these are very powerful very capable systems that you can carry around of course it will be very you know your back breaking most of them comes with wheels so you can do that but you get the point like this is a tailor made for heavy workload so when you're talking about video village kind of equipments they will be specified with a multiple high grade monitor and they will have a system where it's like no the whole uh, video chain is like let's say 12 bit so your graphics card will have 12 bit output your uh, everything your display would be 12 bit out uh, you know input so all that would be there, done so these are pro level these are ludicrously expensive then we come to pre-built uh, small scale systems uh, which are like uh, for you and me now primary reason for this sort of system is let's say you do not like clutter or you live in a small apartment or you are a person who was like you know moving from job to job and laptop is just not good enough for you or you do not have the money for buying a ludicrously expensive laptop and then you have to replace it every two three years because uh, you know other things starts to break apart like laptop fans they are a really big pain in the ass like i have friends who have very expensive systems and the first thing that is breaking is like fans from msi to dell to uh, even hp so reality is for many people laptop will simply not cut it especially if you want high power one and most of them will thermal throttle so for common people this sort of uh, mini system is like a bit of a compromise of course this will not run on battery power but if you all you have to do is like hey i'm uh, using this here or let's say you know my room has to be fumigated for bed bugs i can carry this to my friend's house and still work if you need to or carry it to office because many startups while they do have uh, you know fancy displays to you know show the clients generally their processing department is like really bro i want to render a video in this so you may be like to shut up i'm just gonna bring my own system here so many places people like this sort of thing and uh, they are generally a bit more expensive not too much expensive like if you take uh, spec per spec basically processor per processor uh, you know ram to ram like if you try to do one to one match it will not be too much expensive and many times it may even be cheaper simply because uh, whenever a company like Corsair or MSI or Asus or things of that nature they are building a system they are ordering bulk so they can have a lot much more margin and if they are saying they are not selling much they will reduce the margin so you may find up saying hey wait a minute if I buy one to one component buying the you know pre-built system is still cheaper and most of the time they are upgradable to some extent or in some cases very high extent for example I really love the design of MSI Nightblade uh, you can buy this you can literally replace the motherboard if you want to you can replace the let's say you buy a, this is an old system i don't even think this is available anymore if you want to if you as long as you are within the power budget of the basically server grid power supply that they utilize it like one new power supply heck you can replace that also if you know where to buy those things uh, you can upgrade it everything is upgradable so that's an option uh, for Corsair one even in this you can upgrade the you know systems if you want to do that so reality is because of their utilization of desktop components if you have a faulty RAM you can replace it if you have a faulty processor you can replace it generally it's very unlikely but things like that happen and or heck you may even want to upgrade because uh, let's say AMD is supporting very old uh, motherboard sockets you may be like hey I bought it in let's say you know five years ago I can replace the processor and still get a lot of life out of it awesome just do it so pre-builds uh, is like you know suited for average users now what if you are to something more custom you have diy option now because the reality is more and more people are going away from huge desktops which was like you know uh, dominant in early uh, you know 2010s uh, like for example my cooler master high airflow case it's huge it does not look huge because like i'm looking at it every day but whenever i'm compared to something else like whoa this is huge and whenever i have to travel with it because you know i was uh, you know working in bangalore then i came to my hometown that was a huge pain in the ass and it becomes an issue it's like uh, most of the people do not have their own like this is my brick and mortar house most of them it's like you know oh this is place i'm staying here and then one year i have to move away or second year or you may find another job so even with inside a year you may have to switch places in those sort of time you'll be like i wish my system was much smaller so many people want this sort of system just from looks point of view from uh, you know a land party point of view for many places you want something like this so small form factors is growing the market is growing to a such a point that there are startups now at this point in time and successful companies are releasing multiple models so you have a lot of options 
and motherboard because of the demand of it now in the early days the motherboard like uh, ITS was always there but like uh, AMD ITS was not a thing it was like who, who buys AMD but now like you can buy very high end uh, motherboard for AMD you can buy very end for Asus uh, Asus I'm saying Intel and because of the demand is so high that even a new standard was created of power supply SFX power supply was created you could, normal power supply small power supply that's how big this industry is like it's creating its own standards and there is a lot of cases like there are cases that are only 10 liter and if you do the wire management correctly be mindful wire management is the biggest hurdle in this sort of thing because if you do not do wire management properly that will choke the airflow so if you do the power, uh, wire management properly these puppies can handle the highest end system uh, available for common public i'm not talking about like uh, you know 3090 ti or whatever have you it's like i'm talking 3090 it can handle that 3080 is like i don't even care about it and like you know 12 core desktop processor is like bro i i got this I, of course do not try to put thread ripper here but you get the point so they are very very powerful and if you are not going bonkers high as in like you know uh, if you're not going into like you know 24 core thread ripper and you are dealing with something mid-range most of the system even without a amazing wiring job will remain cool enough so when you see Linus State is having like a system where it's like, you know, it's reaching 80 degrees Celsius, he's generally using best of the best equipment. If you're not uh, going like, you know, if you are instead of using 3090, you are utilizing 3060, these things won't even break as well. Like this is a normal system for you. So reality, there's something for every budget. If you want to go bonkers, you can go bonkers. If you want to, you know, save money and you want to do it on budget, you can do that. And it's really uh, useful for many cases. For example, if you want to move from another one place or you just do not want to look at a giant black box, is doable so this was my presentation on compact pcs hopefully you have liked it learned from it in that case please click the like button share it amongst your friend that will help me a lot if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i urge you to press this like press it uh, twice to show me extra disappointment please leave a comment because i do try to reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching